Alright, how's it going guys? Given here in this video, we're going to be talking about the swords shown in the Shadow of Evil trailer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I've been trying to do this video for so many, like, I've been trying to do this commentary so many times. And I ain't lying, I've been trying to do this like thousands of times. I'm a little bit pissed off now. I'm just not, I'm telling you guys. I want to make this a perfect video for you guys just to get the quality of the content a little bit up there. So let's get into the video. So, in this trailer we can see a blue and white sword and a black and red sword. And so, what we can get from this is both these swords represent something. And what this could represent is heaven and hell. It could also represent Zeus and Hades, depending if you think Greek mythology has a big part in this. So it could represent th something, but it looks like both these weapons are very different and have something to do with the Easter egg. Now, we can sort of assume that both these swords are going to be equal, even though there's a lot more content of the blue and white sword. And the reason why I say this is, in the small clip, it will be pause it right here. We can see someone holding the sword, much like they would be holding the blue and white sword, giving us an idea that it will probably be very similar in everything except the special attack and how you obtain both these weapons. Now, moving on to the special attacks of these weapons, the blue and white sword has a slam special attack, and you see it right here. And the black and red sword has more of a Hell's Retriever special attack where you shoot out a base energy version of the sword that you have and it goes around chopping off all these zombies heads. Now the reason why I say it's a base energy sword is when you do see in the trailer you can actually see the person holding the sword. You can see a separate sword go out and killing the zombies. Now side note to think about the special attacks is when you do watch the characters use their special attack before they use it you can see their sword light up in an area by their handle. Now what this could be telling us is that these both these swords will actually be a charge up so you have to charge up these swords by holding a button and then you'll be able to use it, which doesn't make sense. So it was shown in Origins with the stats where you had to hold the button and then you were able to use their special attack. So now moving on to the way of obtaining your swords, which we don't really know how it's going to be done, but we have an idea from previous Call of Duty's that will likely be in some sort of challenge. And so like filling the boxes or filling these dogs back in Mob Dead or Origins. And with both these swords, there'll likely be a very different way of obtaining them, and it'll likely have something to do with siding with one side over another. And, and what I mean by picking a side is when you obtain the black and red sword, you'll probably be doing something more hellish, and when you obtain the blue and white sword, you'll probably be doing something more lighter or heavenish. Now moving on to something that's a little bit less about the sword and more on the easter egg. Now, the easter egg is probably going to be changed with the sword, depending on what you pick and where you go with this. The outcome and the steps you will take will probably be changed, and there will probably be a very different outcome depending on where you side. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is this the wonder weapon and i don't really think it is i think it's gonna be more of a side wonder weapon or some extra piece of content like the thunder gloves and are significant in the story and completing the easter egg aren't necessary for surviving like the wonder weapon usually is now don't forget to leave a like and subscribe hopefully guys enjoy this video see you guys later give me a game out and have a nice day